You are called to join the king's guard. No kingdom in all of Africa shares this privilege. Train hard, fight harder. We fear no one. All right, the number one movie in the country right now is The Woman King, starring Viola Davis, and it does not disappoint. I've seen it twice already. And the story is not unique. There were multiple women warriors in Africa who stood on the front lines, and this movie serves as a wonderful reminder that the story of black folks did not begin in captivity. Joining me now is Leonard Wantakan. He's a historical advisor for The Woman King. He is a James Madison professor of political economy at Princeton University and a descendant of the Dahomey people. And I'm thrilled to welcome you here today with me. Um, few people know that Dahomey was the first African kingdom to develop an all-military regiment, but they were not the only women warriors in Africa. This story is more common than people know. I'm, uh, you know, pushed to remind folks of uh, Yaa Zantawa of Ghana uh, and, and other women like that. But tell us about your experience working on this film, especially being a descendant um, of the Dahomey people. Yeah, thank you very much for having me on. Um, it's a very unique uh, uh, story because, first of all, we have um, a, the whole regiment, like 33 to 35 percent of the whole armed forces made of women. And it was also the front line, the elite military unit of, uh, of the army. And they were extremely instrumental in defending um, the territorial integrity of the kingdom, of the kingdom in the in the mid 19th century. Uh, in this, in the movie in particular, it was in 1823. Um, but the initial idea of bringing on women to the army was in 1708 by Queen Hanbe, you know, who ruled for three years. Before it was expanded, institutionalized by King Gezo, who was uh, portrayed in the movie. 